The strings louder. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Switcher T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys a 30 gun streak juggernaut medal using the raw. And uh, I was playing 6v6 domination on the map terminal. And I'm really disappointed with myself, you guys. I actually did about 10 commentaries the other day, and I messed up the sound on all of them. Uh, the way I've always recorded the sound for my commentaries is I plug in my Turtle Beach headset into my laptop, and then I record the sound uh, through the headset. But uh, unfortunately, I had my headset plugged into my computer the other day, and I just forgot to click the button that makes it so the sound uh, starts recording through the headset. So I did about 10 commentaries. And I mess up the sound on all of them, so I'm going to have to redo all these videos, but uh, I've done that in the past before, I just don't think I've done it for this many videos at a time, so uh, that kind of sucks, I just have to redo all the gameplays, but uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this gameplay here today. And uh, I think this is only uh, the second Juggernaut medal on my channel. I posted one like a couple of weeks ago on Skydock, and that was like a 33 gun streak uh, using several weapons and stuff. But this one here is actually a 30 gun streak, and all of the kills were with the raw LMG. And one thing I really, really need to mention is you guys won't actually see uh, the Juggernaut Metal icon appear in this gameplay. And that's because this gameplay was back from the beta, and they changed something really big uh, between the beta and the full game now. This one is from the full game, or actually, sorry, this gameplay is from the beta, and my other Juggernaut Medal the other day was from the full gameplay, like, recently. So, uh, I'm gonna try to explain it to you guys. The way it was in the beta was, if you tried to go for a Juggernaut Medal, which is a 30 gun streak, uh, using your weapon and stuff... It had to be all in one half, like you had to do it all in the first half or all in the second half, all 30 kills. And what I did here in this gameplay is I got 25 gun kills, and then it was halftime, and then I got the other 5 kills after halftime. And so you guys will see, uh, in the first half, I get the Brutal Medal for a 25 gun streak, and then in the second half, I get 5 more kills, and you guys will see, it only says Bloodthirsty, and that's because in the beta, it reset your kills after halftime, and that doesn't even make sense, because if you're still on a 25 gun streak, when the next half starts, it shouldn't restart your kill streak from zero. Uh, but unfortunately, during the beta, it did that, so this is a gun, uh, Juggernaut Metal, you guys. It is a 30 gun streak, except you guys won't actually see the Juggernaut Metal pop up, so I just wanted to clarify that. Hopefully, that makes sense to you guys, and uh, I also wanted to say, I actually think Juggernaut Metal gameplays are more impressive than going for Deatomizer Strikes, uh, because, like, Deatomizer Strikes are a 25 gun streak, and even though those are a 25 gun streak with only one particular weapon, uh, the, the legendary variants, the nuke variants, are usually really good. Usually you have, like, built-in less recoil or built-in extended mags or something. And even though all 25 kills have to be with one gun, this gameplay here, you guys will see, I got 30 gun kills in one life with this one weapon. And unfortunately, there's no nuclear variant right now for the raw, so I got a 30 gun streak. It's probably more impressive than all my Deatomizer Strike gameplays, especially because I would say this gun isn't even as good as the NV4, but... You know, I thought it was a really cool gameplay, a 30 gun streak with this LMG. I really wish there was a nuke variant for the raw. I think that would be amazing, and I could easily get some nukes with that, I think. But uh, in the video today, you guys, I want to talk about my five favorite maps in Infinite Warfare. And the first one, you guys, is Grounded. Uh, Grounded is the map that has, like, rocks everywhere, and it kind of takes place in, like, a quarry. And uh, I think that map is really, really good. Uh, if you use an LMG or an assault rifle, it's really easy to play. Uh, lots of good lines of sight, and pretty much all you have to do is just defend the B flag, and enemies just, like, sit on the flag, and it's really easy to get kills. But I love that map, Grounded. And the next one, you guys, is Skydock. Uh, Skydock is really good, too. It takes place in, like, kind of like an outer space hangar. And uh, I feel like there's a lot of good wall running spots on Sky Dock, and it's just a really easy map to play. I've gotten a lot of, uh, you know, really good gameplays on Sky Dock. I've always gotten a lot of kills on that map, and I just feel like it's really easy to play. All you have to do is flank the enemies a lot of times and just, you know, kill them from behind and stuff, and it's really easy to do. And then the next one, you guys, is Frost. If you guys have watched my channel at all, you would know, you know, so many of my Apex gameplays are on the map Frost. And I think it's the only snow map in the game right now. And uh, I think Frost is a really, really good map. It's designed really well. And uh, I always seem to do really well on Frost. And I just really enjoy the map. I think it looks really cool. 
I really like the lines of sight and the way the flags were set up in Domination. And uh, I just think Frost is a really, really good map overall. It might be my favorite map in the game. I would say probably Grounded and Frost are my two favorite maps in Infinite Warfare. And uh, my next map, you guys, is... Uh, Frontier and Frontier was in the beta as well and it's kind of like the nuke town of Infinite Warfare it's like the smallest map in the game and there's times you guys where I really like Frontier I feel like the map is really fun and I've had times where I've gotten like so many kills on Frontier like 80 90 kills you know just playing in 6v6 domination but there's other times where if you get into a lobby where your team is really really bad and the other team is like super good players you're not gonna do good on Frontier they're gonna spawn trap you and and you're just going to be pretty much screwed. But overall, I feel like Frontier is a pretty good map. It's really small. It's just really easy and simple to play. And uh, I do like that. It's a really high action map. And uh, that's really good. And my fifth map, you guys, uh, for the best maps in the game is Terminal. This map here. I'm surprised they brought this map back from MW2 and MW3, and now there's wall running in this map. They changed the map up a little bit, but I think overall this map actually plays really well in this futuristic game. And I'm really surprised because Terminal was probably my favorite map in MW3. So many Moebs on the map, so many good gameplays, and the way they brought it back in this game, I really, really enjoy it, and I have a lot of fun uh, playing Terminal in this game. And it plays differently, but I do feel like it plays well, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this 30 gun streak juggernaut medal with the raw as well as my 5 favorite maps in the game. Peace out you guys.